What's going on, everybody? Josh Engelman here for Stochastic.com. Back again with the NBA DFS contenders on FanDuel for Wednesday, April 5th. Now, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter at Josh Engelman and sign up for the lineup generator. You see it on the banner at the top of the screen. Find the link in the description. You're going to get 50% off your first week. It's going to be less than $5. We handle all the generation for you. We get rid of all the lineups that don't meet our standard, and then we provide them all for you. You want balanced lineups, contrarian lineups, chalky lineups, lock a player, swap a player, export up to 20 via CSV. You can do all of those things for less than five bucks. Now, we're rounding out the bottom of my top 10 with Quentin Grimes, John Collins, Drew Holiday, Corey Kispert, and RJ Barrett on the outside looking in. Who will be my favorites? My top five plays for today? It's time to find out. First up at number five, we've got James Wiseman. Center only, 5,700, projected for 31. The goal is 36 and a half. He's in the optimal lineup 20% of the time. We saw Wiseman and Jalen Duran start alongside of each other yesterday and play like 16 minutes together. There's a lot of upside for these guys if they're going to be able to play alongside each other. I gave Wiseman 28 minutes. He's a 1.1 fantasy point per minute guy in this spot. 16 points and 10 boards. We're talking about a double-double right out of the gate. Maybe an assist, maybe a stock. They are massive underdogs to Brooklyn, but if we have this sort of minutes upside with no Marvin Bagley, then we can't ignore the centers for the Pistons. At number four, we're going to go Jordan Wara, small forward, power forward eligible, 5,600, projected for 29. The goal is 36. He's in the optimal lineup 23% of the time. 31 minutes here for Nwora. He's playing a ton as of late as they come down the stretch. No Tyrese Halliburton for today. No Chris Duarte. Maybe no Miles Turner. War is like a .9 guy. He's going to get his shots up. 15 and a half points, six and a half boards, two and a half assists, lots of halves, and a stock. It is a pace down spot against the Knicks, but it's more competitive than it would have been if Julius Randle were playing. And we also have the Q tag on RJ Barrett, who also came in sixth, by the way. So with that MPE, with that price tag, with the minutes that War is playing, he looks pretty good. In at number three, I'm going to Kyrie Irving. He's point guard, shooting guard eligible, 9K, projected for 47. The goal is 53. He's in the optimal lineup 24% of the time. Him and Luka are playing massive minutes, 38 minutes, and the offense isn't the problem. So 1.2 fantasy points per minute going up against Sacramento, one of the worst defenses in basketball. This is a really nice offensive spot. 27 points, six and a half assists, five and a half rebounds, and two stocks for Kyrie. Price works, MPE works, and this matchup certainly works. Back to the Pacers at number two for Benedict Matherin, shooting guard, small forward eligible, great flexibility there, 5,700, projected for 33. The goal is 36. He's in the optimal lineup 30% of the time. That's 33 minutes for Matherin. He is the big usage guy with no Halliburton around, and he's close to a fantasy point per minute guy, even in a pace down spot against the Knicks. 23 points, five boards, two assists, and a stock. You're going to need the scoring. This is going to be primarily a points thing, but Benedict Matherin getting to 36 and a half fantasy points, I think it happens a third of the time. And if that's the case, given his price and his position, he's going to be one of the better options. There's a reason you see him separating from the pack. Like, subscribe, notification bell, and don't forget to sign up for the lineup generator. It's on the screen right now, $4.48 for the week. We do the lineup generation for you. You can sift through everything else that we've created. It's an incredible deal for you. In your worst case scenario, you cancel it any time during that first week and you're out just five bucks. This one's pretty gross, but Johnny Davis is your number one contender for today. Shooting guard only, 4,200. Big day yesterday, went for 42, I believe, or something in that neighborhood. 25 fantasy point projection, 29 point goal. He's in the optimal lineup 34% of the time. I'm assuming DeLon Wright plays today, but if he doesn't, Davis looks even better. 30 minutes for Johnny Davis here, 0.85 fantasy points per minute. It's a pace up spot against Atlanta. It's not like the Hawks defense is all that good. They're going to be missing some bodies as well. 14 points, five rebounds, two assists, and a stock for Davis. If you're looking for value, this is the best place to find it. Johnny Davis is your number one contender. Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are your NBA DFS contenders on FanDuel for Wednesday, April 5th. DraftKings version is around here somewhere, so check it out. Good luck tonight, everybody. Win some money. We are back again tomorrow morning for another edition of The Contenders.